Thank you, Jeff. Well, the big news tonight, Bruce Jenner transitioning from a male to a female. At the same time, a list of the top 100 transgenders in the U.S. has now been released. The Trans 100 list is meant to highlight transgenders doing great things in the United States. A local resident made that list. Gloria Rodriguez has this special report. The Trans 100 list is meant to promote a positive image of its community. It's also meant to celebrate those giving back. I had a chance to spend time with the head of the Transgender Community Coalition, who is being honored. She reflected on her struggles as a transgender. As a child, I, I went to my mother and I, I was so terrified and I said, I, I want to be a girl. I always played with the girls, I always played with the dolls. My Mom said, oh, it's just a phase. But it wasn't a phase for Tommy Clinton. She was born as Clinton Thomas II with male sex organs, but in her heart has always felt like a woman. Last year, Tommy started transitioning into a female using hormone treatments. The 44-year-old Desert Hot Springs resident now lives as a woman and goes by Tommy. And then I start by going like this. Tommy undergoes a long, daily transforming ritual before heading out the door. She applies many layers of makeup, puts on a snazzy outfit, and fixes her hair to make her appearance match how she's always felt inside. According to an LGBT health and wellness report released last year by the Riverside County Department of Public Health, there could be more than 7,000 transgenders in our county. Helping Tommy through the transition is another honoree, performer Allison Analora. The singer was born as Larry Dwayne Miller and made her debut as a woman in 2009. Tommy has been there for me every step of the way, and now that she's ready to become her true self, I feel it's my turn to take um, the role of mentor and sister and mother and help her understand that this is what she needs to do with her life. What Tommy is doing with her life is being an activist for the transgender community. She's trying to get an ordinance passed here in Cathedral City, so bathrooms don't have signs like this one, but rather are gender neutral. Not everybody identifies as male and female, and it kind of leaves the trans people to uh, figure out which one they go to. Not everyone is at a society's standard. This battle with societal norms has been painful for Tommy, who was raised in conservative Arkansas. In a feminine boy, Tommy got bullied regularly. They would throw screws at me, screws at my eyes. They'd push me into lockers. They would um, turn their class rings around and thump me on the back of the head. Um, it was pretty, pretty difficult. The taunting got so unbearable for Tommy, she says she tried to commit suicide as a teen and again as a young adult. I felt very lonely. I felt a lot of suffering. You just feel disconnected and you're very alienated and people don't understand you. Tommy was not alone in her feelings of alienation, and Alora also tried to commit suicide. In a study conducted by UCLA, more than four in every ten transgenders surveyed had attempted suicide. That's nine times higher than the national average. Despite the challenges, Tommy says she continues her quest to be her true self, a woman. Transitioning from male to female begins with regular doctor's visits for hormone therapy. This can then be followed by a gender reassignment surgery. We follow Tommy on a visit with Eisenhower Medical Center Dr. Alexander Del Rosario. One of the things that we have to do is to try and minimize the masculine hormones to try and suppress the testosterone. I have chosen not to go through the gender reassignment surgery where my good friend Allison has. I might later on. I might not, but right now I just want to get to the point where I want to see if this just deals with my happiness. Tommy feels she is getting closer to finding that happiness she's been seeking. Now when she looks in the mirror, she sees the real Tommy. Through her work with the Transgender Community Coalition, Tommy is helping others who are transitioning. She is also fighting to change laws to end discrimination against the transgender community. Gloria Rodriguez, KMIR News. All right, Gloria, thank you very much.